Welcome back, everybody, to episode two of the Atomic Bear Show. I hope everybody, well, I guess I can't say you had a good Christmas, but I hope everybody is getting ready to have a good Christmas. But what's going on, everybody? And just want to mention real quick that if you follow us on Facebook and you saw the contest that we were running, well, what happened was when we switched the email over, we ended up sending out an email to like, 1200 people so just want to apologize on that front if you're one of the ones that was like hey congratulations you're a winner you're a winner and we <laughs> sent that thing out and by the time we sent it we realized it was too late but welcome everybody we've got big jeff in the house with us tonight we are going to go over the top 10 items that you're going to need to survive in a car now He's more of the expert when it comes to surviving in the wintertime, and I've never had to be in serious winter conditions. However, I've got a few tips when it comes to extreme heat surviving in a car. So we're going to go over those things tonight, and Jeff has a $108 Atomic Bear gift package that we will be giving away tonight. So definitely stay tuned in for that. But without any further ado, and if I'm missing something, y'all let me know. But what's up, Jenny? What's up, Eugene? And Mary, Leon, Doug, what? welcome, everybody. All right, guys, we are fixing to jump into it. Merry Christmas to y'all. So let's go ahead. Let's bring big Jeff in. And what you been up to, Jeff? Hey, Matt. Um, this week has been a bit crazy. Um you yeah. know, uh, Christmas is coming fast, mm -hmm. and uh, the in-laws are coming, uh, guess what, from England. Oh, wow. So, uh, uh, I better get all the Christmas gifts uh, finalized this week. So, it was Christmas. The business is also taking a lot of my time, obviously, and the kids have all sort of projects to finish uh, in school. My elder one is just uh, uh, doing a full of exams uh, this week, so it's just so busy. But you know what? Thursday is a special day. I'm so glad to be here and having this uh, chat with you guys. No doubt. And it, like I said, it's going to keep growing each week with us. And hopefully we can knock some of the kinks out this week that we ran into last week. But speaking of Christmas shopping, dude, is I have gotten zero, pre I mean zero, like none. But hopefully Amazon will come through and I'll just order, you know, and send them all out. That's what I need to get on. But, oh, other than that, man, I ate, and I know it sounds crazy, but I ate so much food because I was so hungry right before the show started, and now I'm just like, ugh, I'm like one of those miserable things. But, so, survival, man, uh, let's, uh, I don't know, man, how should we start this? Do you want to go back and forth, or do you want to tell, yeah. I think you got a story about surviving in a car, right? Yeah, actually, um, like I can show you one thing, like guys stay, stick with us because like toward the end, even if you don't win something today, everyone gets something, a little something. So just uh, stay oh. until the end. Um, like, yeah, well, you know, like you hear these stories and there's this woman, she's a, a Canadian woman from, I think British Columbia, if I'm not wrong. And um, I, the poor woman, she was in Iowa and she was going to a party, uh, meeting her friend or something. And she was following this um, Google or Google Maps, right? And um, uh, unfortunately, Google bring her into a road that is closed during winter and uh, during fall. So she got oh, stuck wow. in there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she got stuck in mud. So she tried to get out of her car. And she cannot move. Like, she's 72. She's not that, you know, strong, I would say. Um, no, she didn't have her. She forgot her cell phone. She, she was stuck there. Nobody around. She got back in the car, and she ended up uh, spending three days in that car. Jeez. She went through, <laughs> imagine that, like a snowstorm. The only thing she had was two uh, bottles of kombucha, and she had, like, a, like a bread, uh, like a, um, a cake, actually. And she survived on that for three days. And because there was a, a snowstorm, these teenagers were just snowmobiling around. And they saw her, and they actually eventually got her, uh, got, got her um, out of there. So, man, you see all sort of things happening, especially in the winter. It can happen any, at any time. But, like, you know, 
you, you out of gas and nowhere I no cell phone reception what do you do uh, it's like 3 a.m. you it's something if you're driving or simply you're stuck in a massive massive um, like you know um, uh, you're stuck on a highway and it's snowing it happened last year here yeah uh, one of the major highway in the city was like was closed with many many cars on there for like uh, 12 12 to 16 hours like people were just in the car freezing to death you know so that these are stories we hear in uh, in the north if you yeah. like uh, i mean you guys don't have that much snow in no. florida right and you know it's funny especially down here if we get even a little bit of snow they will shut down schools they shut down roads and it's just panic because people don't know what to do around here uh, cuz we don't ever see it i know in atlanta in the states which is in georgia they and this is totally me trying to remember a story, so I'm totally not going to have it all. But a Jeep had flipped over, and it was, you know, during this whole snowstorm that they had had. And they actually spent, I think, two or three days in their car. It was a family. And they had one candy bar. However, they he they were able to start a fire, and they were heating up rocks, putting it in the spare tire thing to stay warm. And it was only mild uh, hypothermia whenever they found them. So, it, I mean, there are plenty of cases that we can look upon to do it. You know, and even in the summertime, because it's so hot, you know, a lot of times you probably don't want to stay in your car if it's completely, you know, hot. You want to go and try to find shade. However, they always say don't ever leave your car. So you're kind of in a conundrum when it comes to what to do in those situations. However, you've got some, and, you know, we kind of held off on showing each other what items that we're going to be doing, but what's your first item, man? Or let me ask everybody in the chat. And if y'all had to pick one item, okay? Now we're going to go over 10 basics, but if y'all could pick one item, whether you're in the summertime or the wintertime, if you got to pick one item to survive in a car, if you could have it, what's it going to be? Let us know in the chats. And then I'll ask you, Jeff, man, if you had to pick one before we get started, what's going to be your number one? Well, I mean, depending where you're driving, you know, you have uh, different uh, challenges. But, like, mm -hmm. the, I think the most dangerous thing I can imagine that that can happen is being stuck on the highway. So one of the things that I think is important is having something that look like a flare or maybe, you know, those warning triangles because if you're stuck on the highway, your engine stop. Even if you're on the side of the highway, you become like so dangerous for the other drivers and for yourself. So putting flares to make sure that people see your your car. And there's a way to put flares, and um, like we'll give you like a link where you can actually get a little PDF that we uh, prepared for you. But basically, you want to make the, the put multiple flares or warning signs signs far enough from the car so depending on the speed that of the oncoming speed of the cars you will put it the first one further from your car and like you will just form like this like um um triangle if you like on, up until your uh, up to your um your, your car so people can see you far don't hit you that's like it's not even even like a survival situation like where you have to spend overnight it's just a case where you're in in trouble on the highway so also, um, so whatever, like whether it's the, the flare itself, like where there's, you have to learn how to use this thing mm -hmm. uh, or the warning sign, I think you should have one in your car. So that's your number one is you would go with the, you know, either some type of road flare or signaling triangles yeah. or something that, okay, look, they know that I'm right here. And I can yeah. see that. I think mine, if I had to do, you know, I see, um, you know, um, what is it, Darion? He's saying flare's a good idea. And then people are saying blankets. Doug is saying uh, fire starter and water. You know, in the summertime, you know, I was thinking water, but mine might be, nope, I'm changing my mind. I was going to say, because if I'm stuck in traffic or stuck somewhere, I don't want fire. I think I'm going to go with water. I think that's going to be the number one thing that I would want. And then I can, you know, work from that. But I, my first guess was fire, um, you know, and people are saying food and things like that. Yeah. I, th I think water is mine. And, you know, once it gets dark, though, you might be ahead of the game because you'll have <laughs> the road flares or the, the things that I'm not going to have any of that. But if you had to pick a number two, man, what would it be? 
Well, I think uh, your uh, your idea of water is definitely uh, on on the top of the list. Um, my number two would be something to keep you warm, especially when you're more in the like in the northern part of um, of the country, right? Where mm. Uh, you have snow, or even if it goes to five degrees Celsius, or what would it be in Fahrenheit? Sorry, I'm a Celsius guy. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Uh, but when high. it's cold, like close to freezing point, uh, you know, uh, you want blankets and, or I would say I would call this like um, a heating system. Like you want blankets, but you also want to be able to, um, uh, like, um, bring you some additional uh, heat. So, um, like, like hand a space blanket or something. Yeah, bl a space blanket. Yeah, like we do have like a, a BV bag uh, in uh, that we sell. We're selling. It's that small, and you can actually open it. It becomes huge, and you get in it. Like you, even if you're uh, like it goes seven feet tall by three feet wide. Oh wow! And there's okay. a sp a space blanket inside if you like, but it's a, a tough material. So that's a good way. So if you have a blanket and you put that over it, you increase your chances of keeping your, your heat. But there's a trick there also that you can do is you can take hand warmers. You know, the one that you crack and they, they start or you open actually the, uh, the, the the pouch. Yeah. You have some? Got some right here. That's it. Exactly. Boom. Exactly. So actually, these, that, these are foot warmers. Bag but or in your boots. Same thing. Yeah. And exactly. Yeah. Dude, that's actually a really good one. Um, but, you know, down here, I guess, when it comes to staying warm, you know, it gets so hot, especially in the summertime, that, you know, a lot of times, like if I were to keep a bottle of water, like I was saying, in your environment in the wintertime, it's going to freeze. Down here, I don't have to worry about it freezing. However, now this could be a myth. I mean, we're just totally going off of what I heard. But... You never want to drink the super hot water that's left under the seat. However, I still always have, and I think it's like Deer Park or Nestle Water. I always have it on there or under there, and that's for emergencies. However, boom, I didn't mean to bring out the foot warmers. But, dude, check these things out. This is called emergency drinking water. I don't know. I got it off of Amazon or something. I got like a big case of them a long time ago. But... It's got directions on here, and it says, drink no water for the first 24 hours unless you're sick or injured and or in the you know desert, of course. And then approximately eight ounces, four ounce bag, okay, per day. So this right here is 16 ounces. So this can be, bam, that's one day. So one pack can at least last you two days. But they say, don't drink anything for 24 hours. And then drink eight ounces one day and then eight ounces another. However, that's going to take some discipline. But apparently, that's what's going to keep you alive. And this right now is about as cold as this thing is going to get. And it's about as cold as it's going to get down here in Florida. But, dude, to stay warm, man, the space blankets. Uh... Yeah, I just want to say about water. Like, yeah. you know what? I think water is, is a key element. And the more, the longer you stay in your in your uh, in your car, the more important it is. So you know they say like the the rule of three, you can be like three um, hours like uh, without shelters, mm -hmm. three days without waters, and three weeks without eating, to 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 be able to survive, right? So right. I think in terms of like, priority, if you're gonna be stuck for a few days and you're a family of four. And you don't see, or like, like you're stuck in a snow, a snowstorm. You cannot move, or whatever happened. Obviously, you need water. And like one thing I recommend is uh, bringing like um, a metal container with water inside. So you can, if it's freezing the outside, if it's below a uh, uh, freezing temperature, you can heat the the container. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have fire starter and a bit of wood around, or some something, some way to make a fire, or basically. Um, you have enough water in that in that container to um, to to just drink for a couple of days, right? Without uh, going off, uh, like without being. Uh... The thing is, when you're too thirsty, you're also not as resistant for uh, toward the um, the cold and the heat. So yeah, water is so key. Yeah, and even if you it's frozen, okay, but you're you're in some type of space blanket. You know, th these are kind of the ones I have. Uh, and these are just real basic. I mean, they're not, I mean, you could probably get a hundred of them for a dollar. I don't know if that's accurate, but just something like that that's going to keep the heat inside. And then if you have a frozen bottle of water or like you were saying, 
and it's in the stainless steel, you know, or a thermos or something, put it inside with you and let your body temperature slowly melt that water away and then, or the ice. And then finally, once it's melted, you know, you know, I mean, we've all waited for ice to thaw out and you can drink a little bit at a time. That yeah. might be another thing that you could look at. But yeah. these space blankets, man, I've actually never pulled one out. And look at this. It's not much to it at all, dude. Hey, Matt, uh, did, did you know that? We also we also have, you remember, we have the uh, space blankets. Oh, dude, well, yeah. the Atomic Bear one's going to be yeah, way better than this thing. Look no, at this. I think it's better than the one you're having, uh, in your, that you're holding in your hands. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We, this... we sell them into a uh, pack of four that is flat. You can stack them. So I do, I do recommend to you having one per person at least. Yeah, no doubt. You can doubt. use so many things, right? Yeah, that thing right there. And, of course, and now I've got a whole bunch of these. But, of course, these are the cheap ones. And it looks like somebody had just spray painted just a piece of plastic. So no, definitely, it's right. definitely go with a better brand or the Atomic Bear version of it. Other than going, this is, look at this. I can see right through it. I mean, y'all can see me yeah. through this thing. <laughs> so, these things, it was a good idea, but I'm actually glad I opened it up right there. Hmm. Yeah, but if you have, like, if you're in a classroom, you're thinking of a class of, like, 30 students, that might be something you might want. It's better to have something than something. nothing, right? Correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, I you know what, the other thing I would talk about is a first aid kit, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. In a first aid kit, there's a few things I would definitely want to have. A mm -hmm. uh, seat belt cutter. Um, a glass breaker because if you're stuck into your car, you want to be able to get out. If the doors are locked or the car, you, you've been to an accident or whatever that happened and you need to get out fast, you might want to, uh, be, to be able to break the, uh, the windows. So, and medical items, like thinking of gloves, uh, like maybe uh, some sort of um, military gauze. Um, I have a list here, but I won't go through the whole list, but basically a triangle, uh, all sorts of padding, band-aids, obviously. Um, some people will bring a tourniquet if, in case you're injured and alone and you're bleeding a lot, losing a lot of blood. Um, what else? Uh, scissors, Tylenols, mm -hmm. um, like skin tape, like all sorts of uh, things that you can use to absorb blood if you're bleeding uh, and also to pad yourself or immobilize uh, uh, one of, the, of your limb if you're injured. So. Right. Definitely yeah. that and fire starter. I include in that like fire starter, like that could be just like a like, uh, lighter. I like the butane uh, lighter that they just like, they just mm -hmm. uh, fire. Um, they don't uh, care about wind and uh, other things, right? So I, I think the first aid kit and having a pouch to put your things in it, like in a very well organized way is important. Yeah, no doubt. And, you know, a lot of times, see, with me, I, I drive a truck, but I used to drive a little two-door Honda Civic. So what I have in my truck now, I couldn't carry at the time in my Honda Civic. You know, I always still have the bottle of water, you know, and then you can keep a few things in there. But, you know, a first aid kit, like this thing right here, I've never actually opened this thing, but it's 53 pieces. You yeah. know, again, Amazon special, I guess. Um, this was, and it's got all kinds of stuff, alcohol pads, sting relief pads, Boom, the scissors you were talking about, adhesive tape. But that right there can fit in a glove box and then forget about it. Because yeah. once you forget about it, but then when you need it, you know, it's ready to go and it's right there for you. So I think the first aid kit is a, um, yeah, that's definitely up there. And with the fire, yeah. with the fire starters, like you were talking about, whether it's a fire starter, matches, you know, a big lighter, hide one in the bottom of your glove box underneath the manual, you know, where you pull out the thing and it tells you about your vehicle, get you a little small pack of matches like this and just put them in there, forget about them. And one thing that I don't know if y'all want to do this, but this right here, and I don't know what you would call these candles, but I got a big bag of them, you know, and I <laughs> threw them in my bug out bag. However, I was thinking that, because you don't want a whole lot of heat, and you definitely don't want to burn certain things because of the carbon monoxide, but having a simple candle like this will give you light, you know, because in case, let's just say that you're low on gas or you don't want to kill your battery, 
you're going to at least want to see. But maybe just something small like this with the um, aluminum. I guess this would be aluminum kind of frame on it right there. Put that yep. right up on your dash. I've got heat. I can do whatever I want. Boom. And it's just simple. And you don't have to worry about burning wood or things like that. Of course, you're not going to be able to cook off of it unless you have yeah. a few of them or a marshmallow. But, you know. Well, it can melt water. That's it. Yep. And you could actually, yeah, that's a, even better. Yeah, especially if you got the stainless steel thing you were talking about. Hold it over. Makes it a lot easier. But just a simple little candle like that. I mean, I'm sure you can. I know you can buy packs of three, you know, like super cheap on eBay. But yeah. that right here, let's just say these three things. You know, this water thing I was talking about, I, even if you do a bottle of water, and then your foot warmers, I mean, look at that. That can fit in a glove box. Bam, yeah. I forget about it. Or the center console. Well, actually, uh, we do have this, uh, This I don't know if you've seen it. I think you have seen it, but um, like this is this uh, this bag, right? It's a, yeah. it's a pouch. Uh -huh. You basically... Uh, open it very quickly if you need to, oh. and there's a lot of stuff in there to organize your things. So you can put your um, um, your um, blanket in the back. You have, you know, uh, some sort of a, um, places here to put like pills. It's almost like a mini bug out bag. Mini bug out bag. This would fit in, That's in, actually in your, really cool, uh, your yeah. car, a glove box, right? So yeah. it's pretty convenient, and you take it with you if you go out. If you're like, if you have to walk in the woods, or if you uh, you think you might need it. You put it in your bag or you, there's Molly straps. You can strap it onto your backpack mm -hmm. so you can carry your uh, emergency things with you as, as you uh, move around. Man, that's actually pretty cool. Can you show that to me one more time? Zipped up and pull it yeah, back down? Yeah. So, um, that's the um, that's a bag. I'm going to try to go closer to the camera. Uh, that's you know, so it, it zip opens very quickly. And then you have the uh, organization in sight. You have pockets in there. Oh, you've um, even got the stuff on the side. Yeah, it's a mini buck out bag. Yeah. That's and cool. And this is Molly, uh, like so you have the Molly straps in the in the back, so you can actually easily clip it onto your um on your backpack. Yeah. Huh. Cause I saw you hold it up earlier, but I've never seen the actual inside of it. That's actually yeah. really neat. So what's your next item, dude? So well, I we've say, got kind of our basics. You know, there's things you can uh, get out of yourself. Jumper jumper cables is definitely a must. Like mm -hmm. everyone knows that. Right. However, there's a type of jumper cables that you might have heard of. These are uh, uh, um, power banks based. So basically, you have a battery with cables, and you can jump start your car yourself with, the, with this battery. Yep. It's a bit more expensive, but on the long run, uh, you can get yourself out of trouble, right? By yourself. Your own, like Correct. Without having to get someone else to help you out with this. Yep. So I think this is uh, this is pretty cool. And this goes obviously with the what we call the traction aid that you can put under your um, your uh, tires to um, to uh, increase the friction, like things you open up chains or there's different different versions of that. Mm -hmm. And I even seen uh, I don't know if you've seen that, but it's pretty cool. It's a spray. You spray your tire. And increase the grips of your tires of your tires. So if you're stuck, just spray the thing around. I don't know if it works. I've never tried it. Huh. But you spray it around, and you just try to get out of the uh, the ditch or the the snow. Um, yeah. Uh, this uh, the track pads, and I think they fold up. But uh, you know what I've also heard of, and you might can attest, you know, better to this than I can. But the uh, kitty litter. People will do kitty litter in front of their tires, and I yeah. don't know if it melts it. I honestly don't know. But that was the thing that they would do is they would use kitty litter and then get unstuck like that. And then the little foldable track pads, you know, to get yeah. you out of the hole. Man, it, it's crazy how much stuff they have out there now, you know, yeah. for things like this. But I guess just the bare minimum or the basics, even just having the knowledge of it. Because what I wanted to do, Jeff, is I wanted to make a video, and I still might make it for a future episode, where... If you had no matches and all you had was a pencil, I can start a pencil with a pair of jumper cables and a, uh, well, just a pair, a pencil and a pair of jumper cables connected to a battery in your car. And you mean I'll, you can start a fire with a pencil? Correct. Right. Without awesome. Being just, wow. And it comes up. And I wanted to do that, but of course it's the holiday season and you know how that is. 
However, I still might make that video. But yeah, let's do it later. That's yeah. awesome. It's a good idea. Yeah, for sure. So um, let's keep moving, man. What you got? What's your next? Yeah, one? well, other things are flashlight. You want a source of light if oh, you have yeah. to <laughs> move around, uh, either either a headlight or just a small flashlight. Actually, uh, we have a small flashlight here. This is the what what we call the uh, SWAT flashlight. It's a it's a tiny one, so you can put it almost everywhere. And this guy is pretty strong. Yeah, it has like 400 lumen, and you can actually it's, it's pretty strong, right? And you can, I don't know if you see it on the back, can you see it? You can zoom in and out. Like, now it's pretty close. Yeah. But you can zoom in and out. And you also have the strobe mode. Which, yeah, you got the dim so, and the strobe, yeah. Yeah, it, it helps to tell people, like, guys, we're having some sort of problem here. So uh, this is a small one. Uh, pretty convenient to put more than one in your bag. But also there's bigger ones. That, that have more batteries are a, a lot more powerful as well. They're just more heavier and uh, um, not as easy to just um, put in your pocket and stuff. But I mean, like headlamp, a flashlight, uh, all sort of uh, ways to um, be able to move around when it's dark. Right, yeah. And that little flashlight is actually, I mean, convenient to put in your pocket. Um, you know, I have a headlamp that, you know, I actually don't keep it in my car, which I probably should. But Man, when I if you can have a headlamp in there, then having your hands free and also yeah. being able to see, it's a game changer. And it the is. strobe thing right there, yeah, you can, you know, flag people down, or you know, and this might be in a future episode that we talk about. But in a self defense thing, yeah. a lot of times, let's just say that you have a gun and you got that flashlight, right? That strobe. People, you know, they can't see it's going to stop an attacker or blind yeah. them temporarily. So that you yeah, know, I do. But actually, stack. one of the, one of the item I think you should always think of having it on board is something that will help you to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's a um, a knife, a tactical pen. Uh, actually, I want to show one of of the the product that we're uh, we're having that do uh, can do like uh, glass breaking, self defense. And there's also a little light on the, on the end of this guy here. And that's going to be part uh, of the giveaway tonight too, right? Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. You got it. And this guy here is also a pen, right? You can un unscrew the thing and uh, it's a pen. It's a ballpoint pen. Yeah. And uh, you also get, get a secret tool if you unscrew it and you get, you know, a bottle opener at the, uh, at the end. And a little hexagonal key. It's just a one size hexagonal key and a little bit, a little uh, striker if you uh, uh, want to use it for um, to start a fire with a ferrocerium, ferrocerium road. Sorry. So, yeah, so this is cool. But I mean, cell defense, people will carry gun. This is allowed everywhere. But right. if you can carry a gun, that's another way to defend yourself. You never know if someone is going to take advantage of your of your situation. Uh, I would imagine most people would not, but you never know. You never know where you're going to get stuck. Are you going to be in a nice neighborhood, in a dangerous neighborhood? So you really, really want to think about that. One item I think that is doing also many, many, uh, is, is have many facets, is a military shovel. So you can defend yourself. It's, these yeah. are small shovels um, that are a bit uh, on the edge. It's uh, cutting, so you can cut um, wood or stuff, but you can defend yourself with that. You can like shovel off snow and actually um, defend yourself. So I think that's uh, also another item that you may want. And they're foldable, they're small. You can put that in your car and it doesn't um, use too much spa space in your uh, trunk. Yeah, and if you have a truck or something like, you know, bigger, you can get these little boxes at Walmart or totes and just kind of neatly organize everything when you need it, like toe straps. I'm sure it's a big one. I mean, we could go on and on, you know, but for the, as far as the basic goes, but that little tactical pen, man, oh, and like you were saying with the guns, you know, I don't know if you were adding that into it, but those should be something that you would want to EDC, you know, everyday carry, you know, a gun, if that's your thing, you know, always have that in your car with you, on you, you know, it doesn't matter. But having that tactical pen, that should always be on you, 24 7 so yeah. even if you do get stranded bam you know that you have that tool and i like that bottle opener just in case you needed to drink some beers after you got done with the tack and then write about it in your journal so it you got it <laughs> it definitely covers 
everything in it. Man, yeah. um, I don't know how we're doing on time. How are we doing I on time, I think we need, we need to keep moving. We are 30 minutes in. Oh, right, we are 30 minutes in, man. So you want to uh, – we'll speed through a few of these other ones, and then we'll jump into that giveaway, man. I'm excited about that thing tonight. But um, So what's your next one, man? What you got? Well, I, got I think the last one uh, would be food. Like uh, one of the uh, – I, I don't remember the name of the person, but I, I – I just want to say that food is definitely important. It's not the most important thing if you're gonna stay for for a couple of days. You can survive mm -hmm. without food, but you know it plays on your mind. If your mind is not clear and you're hung, you're hungry. Uh, I mean, it will change. You, it will it will make you make um, lead you to make bad decisions right. or precipitated decisions, or because you're hungry, you want to go back home. It's just. It enhances the uh, the, um, uh, the the feeling of emergency or uh, of of fear. So having enough food to you know like maybe two thousand calorie uh, per person that would be sufficient for a couple of days. I mean survival way um, would not be sufficient to thrive but to survive. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bars. I'm thinking of like. Chocolate, not too sweet, like maybe a higher uh, percentage, percentage of cacao, uh, cocoa, sorry, um, like chocolate, um, I don't know, uh, bars with pro a lot of proteins in them. Um, these are things that you might be able to like stack and forget, as you say, if, if they last for a year or something. You want something that will not be spoiled in a month, right? Right. That's what I was going to say. The, You know, I was going through a few things, and apparently I had thrown this into my bug out bag and I was thinking okay well this will last a while and I was like all right there's got to be an expiration date on this thing and this was June of 2015 so <laughs> definitely the expiration is done but I tell you what even if I was in a situation I would still eat this right here and yeah. you know another thing and I've got one more which I'll go over but speaking of the uh, and I'll hide the name brand on it but i'm sure people that are into this kind of stuff but survival food like this if you've got the tote that i was talking about and they even come in smaller ones this is a uh, chicken teriyaki with rice and um but this i mean this lasts forever i mean what 10 15 20 years this kind of stuff you know you'll sell your car before it ever goes bad you know yeah. with something <laughs> like that however and and I just wanted to touch on that real quick. But a poncho, man. A oh, yeah. simple poncho. Because if you get out in the rain and you get wet, let's just say it's cold or it's freezing rain, you know, just any type of scenario, you don't have extra socks, right? We're not in a bug out bag or, you know, a bug out situation or a long term survival type thing. These are simple cars. Get you a poncho, stay dry. And I think, you know, I never really liked ponchos. And I've only, because I'll just be like, ah, whatever. But I've never been in a situation where I've got to get back in the car and just sit for a long time. And that right there will keep you dry, which in turn will keep you warm. But I think a hunting poncho, you know, well, not a hunting poncho, but a poncho in general, real small, you could fit it in a bag, might be the way to go too, just to keep yourself dry. Yeah, that's a good one, actually. I, I like it. I like it very much. Yeah, man. And so, do we want to cover anything else? You think those are the basics? Do we have them down? I think we've pretty much covered what we all, everything we have. Like, we may have forgotten something, but if we put back everything we, we, met, we mentioned in a, into a bag, that's going to be a pretty big bag. So, I think we've covered a lot. Right. I mean, we could keep going on and on about, you know, well, we need a portable power bank in case you can't charge your phone. You know, you need certain different things, but as far as your basics go, you know, a poncho, a first aid kit, water, of course, whether it be water like this, if you're in cold situations, like he was saying, maybe put it in a thermos, and if you're in cold situations, maybe get you some warmers, matches, a fire starter, a Bic yeah. lighter, however you can get fire, and again, guys, a Bic lighter matches a first aid kit, a poncho, those three things can fit in your glove box today. And you never know what's going to happen. But, yeah. man, I'm glad that we went over this because it gave me an opportunity, you know, whenever you told me, all right, let's go over 10 things and 
I won't tell you my 10. You don't tell me your 10. And it kind of got me back in the rhythm. And I know this sounds crazy, but even thinking about that made me go and check my tire pressure in my tires. And I also changed my windshield wiper fluid. I've been wanting to do it forever. But having this on my mind actually helped me to go and do that. So, you know, it was actually a good thing that we even went over it from that standpoint. And now, I know people are tired of hearing me stall. So, Jeff, what is going to be in the giveaway tonight, man? The big Well, Christmas. you know what? Uh, before we just uh, go through the items, I want to do um, uh, to give a shout out to Debbie Wilson. Yeah. Um, I've gotten this message from Debbie. She is one of the winner from last week, right? Mm -hmm. She uh, just wrote to uh, to us. She said, "I I just received my magnets that I won last Thursday. They are the bomb. Thanks again. By the way, your show is pretty awesome. Keep up the great work." And we're gonna keep the great work. Thank you very much for uh, Debbie for this uh, this feedback. Oh yeah. You know, like we're putting a lot of work, and we want you guys to to like it, and want you guys to comment, and give us like your uh, your two cents. You like what you like us to talk about, and there's this um, this email address called that we we uh, might have a chance to display it, or or it's gonna be in the comments. It, it is show at theatomicbear.com. Don't forget the D. It's show at theatomicbear.com. You can email us, give us your comments, suggest us giveaways you'd like to have, subject you want to hear about, people you want you would want us to bring on the show, anything you know that that's that's very important. Now the giveaway, um, I have a sheet here. I just don't want to forget anything. Yeah. Uh, the giveaway. So um, I showed I've shown some of the items, um, like. This flashlight here, mm -hmm. it's part of the bundle. Um, the the emergency that what we call the the, the bear bivy, it's this uh, little thing that I've a uh, version where that I've opened. You you roll it, and you open it. It it's huge, man. Yep, I need you to go ahead and get inside of it and just tuck yourself away, and then that way we can all see it. No, I'm kidding. Exactly. Jeff. Don't do it. Don't well, do it. you can cut it. You can cut. <laughs> yeah. The, so you can, Man, anyway, so this is great. Yeah. This is a great uh, tool. Um, I won't open it all, but basically inside you have this um, Myler material. Yeah. And it's thicker, so it, it you can reuse it many many times. Um, this is a second one. Well, a third one uh, that I haven't actually uh, mentioned is uh, the um, SWAT knife. Uh, this knife is a folder. It's a beautiful folder with a G10 handle. And there's a serration here on the blade, so you can cut open your seat belt if you uh, if you need to um, to cut it, like to get out of your car. So another item that I think would be a good addition to your EDC for your um, emergency emergency kit in your car. We also have this pouch I've already shown included. Oh yeah, dude! I want to. I can't get in this contest, can I, Jeff? This thing is. <laughs> I have this uh, multi multi tool tactical pen with the the flashlight. Yeah. Right. There. And um, what else? What else? There's one more thing. So we also have classes. I don't know if people know that, but we have a complete first aid class. It's a comprehensive class that you just log in and you go through the um, the videos. And we have this um, this guy. He isn't from Israel. He's been uh, in the military there. Uh, now he's a paramedic as a professional, but in the military, he was paramedic, if you like. And he, um, he made his video to explain how to put a tourniquet, how to deal with someone with a difficulty to breathe, someone who has an injury, uh, a cut. How do you manage all these simple things? How to, um, like, you, ha you have a heat, a heat shock. What do you do? Like, all these things. And this is a comprehensive class. You just log in and you do it to, uh, at your pace. Some questions there to just make sure you follow, you're following through. So all these six items are combined together and we give it away to one person tonight. Now, Matt, I think you've thought of a trivia question for our audience tonight. What is it? And I have. And, you know, last week we did the Survivor song. So I was thinking kind of a more of a movie type thing. So guys... I've got Ben over here. He's going to play a clip of a movie. It's going to be 20 seconds tops. The first person in the chats 
that can guess the name of this movie, and I'm sure y'all will probably know it, will actually win the Atomic Bear. What do you want? What are you calling it, Jeb? Just the, the Atomic Bear huge Christmas package? The Atomic Bear Christmas Bundle Super. <laughs> That's it. Both. <laughs> so, guys, let's go ahead. Let's get into it. If you have a way to chat, we can see all the chats. And the first one that gets the answer right is going to go home with this Atomic Bear Christmas Bundle. So $108 worth. And Ben, let's go ahead. Let's play that video. See that? I was watching it. I was like into it and I couldn't stop watching it. So guys, if y'all know what movie clip that was from, go ahead and leave it in the chats. And Jeff, just in case somebody doesn't win or if for the people in here that just might happen to not win tonight, you're also helping them out tonight. So what do you got for those guys? Oh yeah, yeah. So uh, we've put together a, uh, a document that will go over everything we've discussed with more details, with links and some like two, like some videos that might just make it uh, better like for reading or just to keep it or uh, share it with your family, your friends. Inside that document, there is a there's a 10% off discount on everything on the store. So it's valid until midnight Pacific time tonight. Um, so you had to, uh, to get this, you had to the atomicbear.tv and you scroll down and you will see episode two. You click in there and then you can download the PDF. The last page of the PDF has the discount coupon in there. So you get 10% off uh, and you get a free PDF you can download. It's a direct download. You don't need to enter any emails or anything. It's just bomb. You Click on it, you get it. So um, that's gonna that could be useful to share with your children, with your your spouse, uh, your parents, your el elder parents, or your brothers and sisters. These are things that, like, when you start thinking about it, you say, "Yeah, I should get prepared." And here are some items that I could buy right now to like put. Um, it's not just like Atomic Bear product. We have all sorts of things in there. Yeah. But I mean, I hope you guys that that you guys will uh, find it useful if you have comments questions things you would you think should be added to the document again write to us show at the atomic uh, and we'll be uh, very glad to implement any advice that good advice that you guys are uh, giving us yeah for sure man and that's really cool so like he was saying just to kind of you know reiterate is that the word i'm looking for maybe but what he was saying is that 10% off until tonight at midnight Eastern. So it'll be 11 Central and so on. Actually, it's Pacific so until uh, midnight Pacific time. Oh, okay. Everyone so you, to have yeah. enough time. Like, you know, gotcha. because this will be asleep at 12. Yeah. So I want our, uh, our um, uh, the people people in the west of the country to be, um, to be, uh, be yeah. able to have enough time to get anything they want. I like it. And... You know, I know the code, and I've got the code written down right here, but you got to go download the PDF file, look at the last page, and y'all will see that code. Now, Ben, do we have a winner? We do have a winner. Uh-oh. Let's go. Let's head over to the comments real quick. Boom. Who's got it? So, right here, our first one, we had several tries up here. We had 132s and I knew that stuff like happen. that, 132, yeah. other, other numbers. But yeah. our first 127 was from Derek Froust. I'm sorry if I... Faust? Faust, Faust maybe? Yeah. Frost? Froust? But Big Derek! Derek, congratulations! You won the $108 bundle. So go ahead and tell him where he has to go to get this bundle. Yeah, no doubt. And congratulations, Derek, with the big 127. I saw other numbers coming in. 180-something, 24. Everybody kind of knew what they wanted to say. But congratulations, Derek, and maybe this will be a good Christmas for you from the Atomic Bear. And I'm going to go ahead and let 
Jeff tell you what you need to do, and it's super simple, but so you can go ahead and get your $108 worth, right? Of atomic bear yeah. stuff. So tell them, Jeff. Yeah, it's very simple. Just write to us, show at theatomicbear.com. Give us your shipping address because we're going to ship the goods. And then we, I can reply to you or a member of the team will reply to you with um, a link to, uh, to get the, uh, to uh, be added to the, um, to the class, right? So, um, and to make sure that you're the right Derek, please comment in, uh, on, the, on your face, on the, on the Facebook, um, no, sorry, please, please message us on Facebook to tell us that you have um, sent us an email so we can match the two. Um, so yeah. Email us at show at theatomicbear.com and message us on uh, on Facebook so we can uh, make sure that you're the same person. Yeah, and what might be a little bit easier too, you know, a lot of times with the YouTube, you know, if you went on, over on YouTube, which we're streaming or Twitch or wherever else that you might be watching this stream because we have people from all these different platforms is I think on Facebook, uh, having them direct message you, you know, bam, you can see that it's them, and that's a really good thing. But on YouTube, definitely, you want to go back and comment. That way, somebody's not like, hey, it's me. You know, I sent you the email, and bam. But, guys, and thanks for watching the show. This was the second show. It seemed to go a little bit smoother than the first show, and they're just going to keep getting better. So, thanks, everybody. For watching this, just want to let y'all know before we close this out is that we will not have a show next week. It will be January the 3rd. So we're going to give y'all a break, let y'all hang out with the family or whatever you're doing for Christmas. But we will be back with episode three with a new topic, a new giveaway, and maybe something new. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And Jeff, man, you got anything else before we get out of here? I was just I just want to say thank you very much uh, to uh, for spending time with us. Uh, this is a pleasure to be here with you. And I wish you the best Christmas. I wish you to be happy, whatever you have family or no family, you're alone. Please be happy. I want you to be happy. It's a time where um, where people meet are are trying to um, like just eat together, have fun together, enjoy it, and uh, I'm looking forward to talk to you in January with a brand new year coming. Oh yeah, we are going to start off 2019 super strong. But guys, again, like he was saying, just be happy. Don't worry about the drama. It's Christmas, and if you're traveling, boom, then this show was for you. Make sure that you got air pressure in your tires, your oil is fine, your gas is topped off, and you got some of the items that we talked about tonight. Congratulations again, Big Derek. Thanks for watching the show, everybody, and we will see y'all next year. And I know that's a cheesy joke and everybody says it, but it is the truth. But we will see y'all on January 3rd. Merry Christmas, guys, and we are out.